We are on. We're live. Hey, this is Chris. I want to talk a little bit about our Verizon service. We've had it for about a month. And so just wanted to go through the various uh, aspects of it and let you know what we think of it. Uh, generally, I'm happy with it. Uh, I think it was, I think it's the, the level of service we're getting, the kind of throughput we're getting, uh, made it worthwhile uh, to drop CenturyLink all together and just use Verizon for our phones and data. Uh, first thing I really want to talk about is that we have we are live in, on the fringe in a fringy kind of area of service. We get two bars outside in our yard, and so that is good enough for the phone calls to be clear, and it is good enough to get. Generally speaking, around eight megs down, it will vary up and down from that figure. It, I don't think it's ever gone above twelve. Uh, but I don't think it's ever gone down below like three or four either. But I've just noticed that it's, yeah, right, cellular service is not quite as rock solid like DSL was. I mean, DSL, it was, you know, we found out what kind of speed we were getting, and we pretty much always got that exact speed. I mean, it might have varied a couple hundred kilobytes one way or another per second. So. So I just want to preface that the tower is an old tower. It's been there forever. It's an old ball tail tower. I don't really know if it has all the latest equipment on it. Uh, because it seems like when we go into Raleigh and we get, and, you know, of course we get more bars there too, but it just seems like the service is so much faster. Uh, but, hey, that's, that's part of the price you pay for living out in the middle of Granville County. So, um, Another part of the problem why we don't get good service is that we are we live in a valley, and so the cell phone towers at an elevation, the top of the cell phone towers at an elevation of like uh, 620 feet, I think it is. We are in a, we are at an elevation of 400 and I think it's 420 feet. I looked at the topographical maps. We live near a creek, so you know we're at a low spot. And, uh, and of course, there's a lot of rolling terrain in between us and the um, tower. And I don't know, I mean, six miles away is, is, is too far to see. There's too many trees around anyway. Uh, I, I'm thinking we don't exactly get line of sight. I'm thinking we get a, a lot of interference, maybe from some hills in between us and, and the tower. And certainly the forest is pretty thick, and so that's probably most of it. Uh, anyway, um, like I said, we get good service even in the house. Uh, if we're near a window, we're, we're fortunate that the, the room that we spend the most time in has a big uh, window that, that runs across the whole front of the room, and it is pointed in the direction of the tower. And so even in the front room, we still get good service. So we use our, our phones as hotspots to run our laptops. Very pleased with that. That works very well. Sometimes the hotspot turns itself off for no apparent reason. Uh, it does turn it off when the Wi-Fi is activated. So if we go out somewhere and get on somebody's Wi-Fi and then come back home, we have to reset up the hotspot. But it's it's just you know it's just a menu click away. So it's it's not a big deal. <coughs> Verizon gives us 22 gigabytes of data. Uh, that, you know, it's got an asterisk. It's, it's unlimited, but it's not unlimited. So you get 22 gigabytes of data, no questions asked, and then after on, on the device itself. Then after that, they deprioritize uh, your uh, requests over their network. Uh, I have not noticed any real difference. I, I used 30 gigabytes last month. I've not noticed any difference, and I do keep track of my usage every day. I don't really do much about it. I just keep track of it. Um, the the, the uh, hotspot is supposed to be you get 10, and then they cut you back to 3G. I've obviously gone, well, most of my data usage has been over the hotspot, so it's like 28 gigabytes over the hotspot. Uh, I have not noticed in my, you know, if like if I'm downloading something off of a website, you know, I've noticed that the speed is, is definitely greater than 3G. 
So I don't know uh, what's going on with that, why they're not enforcing their own rule. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's one of those things that, you know, if you're in a real crowded, you know, area and a lot of people using the service, maybe they do cut you down to 3G. But, uh, and it's not like they, cut, they, they switch you over to a 3G signal, but that's, when they say they're going to cut you down to 3G, I believe it's, you know, it's soft, some kind of software that they use. Uh, to cut it down, and so um, yeah, I really, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't think they're doing it. So in that regard, I'm very pleased. So we I keep using my, I like to use my laptop better uh, for just about everything on the internet. The only thing I really use my, well, I use my phone to call, and I'll use it when I go to the Y because you know I can put my earphones in and I can stream something while I'm exercising. But other than that, I really don't use my phone for internet, any kind of real internet usage. Uh, I do use it for Google Maps when we're out, um, you know, to get directions to places, but I really don't use it for anything else. So that might just be, you know, the way I use it makes me not, you know, feel any difference of level and service based on how much how many gigabytes I've used. So, Anyway, we're happy, so I'm happy with that. Happy about the data situation. Uh, of course, the phone situation is good. Uh, there's only one place in the country that we go to regularly where Verizon does not have a presence, and that is in uh, northern West Virginia. Uh, they just don't have any towers up there, but that's kind of, we only go up there once a year anyway, so that's no big deal. Uh, I can't think of anything, any other, the price is not great. Um, but we are saving a total of $55 over what we were paying. We did have DSL service and unlimited phone call, phone long distance, excuse me, and well, of course, unlimited phone too. We were paying about $125 for that, and then we had our Verizon phones that we were paying um, $45 a piece for for their for their two gigabyte plan. Uh, which always worked for us just fine, but you know when they came out with the unlimited, we decided to go with that. And so we overall we're saving $55 a month. So it never hurts to save money, and I'm just glad that the service is working as advertised, and uh, we're not having to, you know, we're really not having to compromise anything we do. I'm I'm really kind of surprised that we use as much data as uh, Verizon's indicating because I never really I thought maybe. You know, we might have together. We might have used like 30 gigabytes a month, and we're each using 30 gigabytes a month. But the good thing about it is, about the service is, you get 22 gigabytes per line, not just 22 gigabytes that you have to share. So that's another good thing. So if we do add another device, like for example, if we decide to get a MiFi or something like that, just to use for the home computers, uh, that'll be another 22 gigabytes. So that'd be a total of 66. And so that would be, I'm thinking about that just simply because uh, there are times I do want to leave my compute, my laptop on uh, to be able to download something while I'm not there. And of course I take my phone with me everywhere I go. So if I'm not there during the day, I can't download anything because I'm not going to leave my house. I'm not going to leave my phone at home. Part of the reason of having a smartphone is to be able to communicate with people at all times, even though I don't you know, always answer the phone. <laughs> hey, but that's my prerogative, right? So anyway, I just thought I'd give you that update. Very pleased with it. I would recommend it. Haven't had any trouble. Haven't had any billing issues. Uh, didn't have any trouble getting the phone switched over. In fact, I called. We switched over from prepaid to postpaid, and it took like 10 minutes. You know, they asked me a few questions, did a quick credit check, and that was that. Um, all their all their communication's been good plain, straightforward. Uh, everything's been as they said it was going to be. And so, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm, we're happy with it. Lee and I are both happy with it. So if you have any questions or comments, if you've um, maybe switched over to Verizon, we'd appreciate uh, you know hearing your comments about what you think about the service. Please do that in the question and comment section below and like and subscribe our videos. We like it when you do. And we will see you on the next one.